when allies of like minds get together. And so you're here today to commemorate the Marines who fell here at Bella Wood, but also to celebrate the alliances that we now share because of the shared sacrifices that we made in 1918. Again, you wouldn't have seen this in 1918. French, German, and Americans all bonded together. But now we're part of an alliance that's unshakable and that is stronger than ever. So thank you for participating today. Thanks for being here. It's historic. You're in historic grounds. You're in hallowed grounds. This is where, again, the term Teufelhund and Devil Dogs came from. For winning the second Medal of Honor. What was it? You're going to live a little bit of that today. So thanks for being here. Thanks for representing the Corps. You do it well. Hoorah. Hoorah.
order to preserve the dignity of this ceremony, please turn off your cell phones. Mesdames et Messieurs, afin de ne pas perturber cette cérémonie, je vous remercie de bien vouloir éteindre vos téléphones portables. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as the official party arrives. Mesdames et messieurs, veuillez vous lever à nouveau pour l'arrivée de la délégation officielle. Présentez Hop Arthur Present Tip Present Ladies and gentlemen, 
Unfortunately, the flyover was canceled this morning. Our apologies. Mesdames et Messieurs, malheureusement, le servo aérien américain a été annulé. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the American Battle Monuments Commission and the staff members of the Enmarne American Cemetery, I send you a heartfelt welcome for being here today with us as we commemorate the fallen at this historic battle site. It is now a place of peace and of memory. Your presence here this morning is proof that they are not forgotten. So thank you. Mesdames et Messieurs, au nom de l'American Battle Monuments Commission, et de l'équipe de Cimetière Américaine de Edmark, bonjour et bienvenue. Je vous remercie de plus profond de mon cœur de votre présence aujourd'hui pour commémorer nos soldats tombés au combat sur le champ de bataille historique, maintenant devenu un lieu de paix et de mémoire. Votre présence ici ce matin est la preuve, même qu'ils ne sont pas oubliés. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the national anthems. Mesdames et messieurs, veuillez-vous lever pour les hymnes nationaux. Présenté. Oh. Arton Présent. Tiens. Présent. Huh. Drapeau, garde-vous. <coughs>
Reposez. Hop. 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 Horreur. Hop. Repos. Repos. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Mesdames et messieurs, je vous invite à vous asseoir. Repos. Good night. Uh, Ray. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Emmanuel de Boulanger, Mayor of Bello, will present his welcome remarks. Mesdames et Messieurs, Mr. Emmanuel de Boulanger, Mayor de Bello, va vous présenter son discours. Bienvenue. Welcome. Welcome. C'est un honneur pour moi d'être parmi vous aujourd'hui afin de commémorer ce mémorial du début. Ce jour des souvenirs rend hommage aux hommes et aux femmes des forces armées américaines qui ont servi au cours de la Première Guerre mondiale et qui reposent sur ce site. Ces Américains sont venus en terre inconnue, ont traversé l'Atlantique pour se battre avec patriotisme, courage et héroïsme. C'est ici que les destins entre nos deux nations, entre nos nations, se sont liés. Les sacrifices de ces jeunes soldats et marines ont littéralement changé le cours de notre histoire et le cours de nos vies. Ce fut le baptême du feu pour ces hommes qui se sont battus avec acharnement et détermination dans le bois de vélo. Ils sont morts en tant que patriotes et c'est pour cela que nous revenons tous les ans sur cette terre sacrée pour honorer leurs souvenirs et leur mémoire. Aujourd'hui, nous sommes heureux de pouvoir vous accueillir sur ce site qui est devenu patrimoine mondial de l'UNESCO afin de leur rendre hommage. Je vous souhaite un bon mémorial Day. Thank you, Merci. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the two prayers by Father Jean-Jacques Danel, Chaplain of the Gendarmerie de la Région Haute-de-France, and Rear Admiral Kerry Cash, Chaplain of the United States Marine Corps. Seigneur miséricordieux, en ce jour solennel, nous nous inclinons devant la mémoire des hommes et des femmes qui reposent en ces terres sacrées de la nécropole américaine de bois -Bélo. Nous te remercions pour leur courage indomptable, leur dévouement sans faille et leur sacrifice ultime pour la cause de la liberté. Que leur exemple nous inspire à poursuivre la lutte pour la paix et la justice dans le monde. Nous te rendons grâce pour ceux qui ont donné leur vie pour défendre des idéaux de liberté et de dignité humaine, et pour ceux qui ont survécu, mais ont été marqués à jamais par les horreurs de la guerre. Nous te prions aussi pour tous les militaires, français, allemands, britanniques, américains, troupes alliées, qui reposent dans les cimetières de cette région. Que cette commémoration soit une occasion de nous souvenir, non seulement des héros tombés, mais aussi de renouveler notre engagement envers la paix et la réconciliation. Aide-nous à apprendre des leçons du passé, afin de construire un avenir meilleur pour les générations à venir. Puissions-nous, en honorant leur mémoire, faire en sorte que leur sacrifice ne soit jamais oublié, que leur esprit demeure vivant dans nos actions et nos pensées. Que leur courage inspire notre propre engagement à faire de ce monde un endroit de tolérance, de compréhension et de respect mutuel. Nous te le demandons par l'intercession de la Vierge Marie et par le Christ, notre Seigneur. Amen. Jesus said, this is my commandment, that you love one another, even as I have loved you. And greater love has no man than this, 
that he laid down his life for his friends. Almighty God, in whose love we live, it is sacrifice that marks the place we stand today. Sacrifice moved by that greater love Jesus spoke about. Although enemies fought here 106 years ago, today we are friends, and for this we are grateful, O Lord. We are grateful for the courage of the Marine and the soldier to take up arms, to go to a distant battlefield in the hopes of a worthy end, fight that peace might prevail. Such actions are not only necessary, but when in defense of innocence and a cherished way of life, they are praiseworthy. O oh God, we thank you for the sacrifice of every man under arms who died here over a century ago. They were sons, brothers, husbands, and fathers. Their love for each other is timeless. Their courage still speaks, and their sense of duty, like the pure, cool running stream for which this forest is named, blesses us still. O oh Lord, may we always walk worthy of their sacrifice. Once enemies, but now friends, may we honor the fallen by honoring you, the author of peace and the giver of every good and perfect gift. Grant our nations the grace, O Lord, to give ourselves to worthy ends, that freedom might be cherished, innocence defended, and peace and goodwill prevail in our world. Amen. Thank you, chaplains. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Monsieur, Monsieur, and Madame, veuillez vous asseoir. Now, welcome General Pierre Schiele, Chief of Staff of the French Army, who will now present his memorial address. The General d'Armée Pierre Schiele, Chef d'État Major de l'Armée de Terre Française, va vous présenter son message de souvenir. Below were the first commitments of the United States Marine Corps in Europe after its creation. Below represents a dire record that of the number of Marines killed in a single battle. Below is a battle. It is one of those violent outbursts in which two troops, two commanders and two wheels confront each other. The experimental German units, hardened by three years of war, were faced by a young corps which had not had yet the opportunity to show his value. During three weeks of fierce combats, from the 6th to the 25th of June, the Marine Brigade of General James Harbert fought every inch of the way. It counterattacked, destroyed resistance points, captured prisoners, seized weapons and equipment. This success came with a price. The 8,000 man strong brigade was neutralized. It lost 60% of its strength including more than 1,000 killed in action. The Marines earned their place in the pattern of elite forces. Those that know their job, those that maintain discipline even in ordeals, those that fight to the bitter end, those that are up to the challenges. The Marines who fought on this soil have left their mark owing to their martial qualities, their solidarity and their sense of, of self-sacrifice. They had to be brave to cross the wood under the firing of the machine guns concealed in the edge, to face the enemy hand-to-hand -hand on the slopes of Hill 142 or in the ages of Bourges. They had to show solidarity 
to maintain discipline and cohesion and to rescue the wounded disseminated in the bushes. They had to show an extraordinary sense of self-sacrifice to fulfill the assigned mission, taking the wood back to break the advance of the German troops who threatened Paris on one side, resuming the action toward Marigny on Auxois to make the most of what the Schumpen had gained during the spring offensive on the other side. The Marines imposed their will in barely conceivable conditions. The forest, the rocks, the hunting lodge still bear the scars of the cemetery of the fights. Winning a battle is not enough to win a war. But in the evening of the 24th of June, there was an indisputable winner. The Marines expelled the Germans from the 92 hectares of Belleau Wood. Beyond the tactical achievement, Belleau was also the first major commitment of the American forces against modern and well-trained forces. It showed that the Americans were decided to fight whatever the number of losses was. The French and the British could assess the value of their new ally. The Germans realized that the war had reached at a turning point. The Allies never lost the initiative again. In the days following the battle, Major General de Gaulle, commanding the 5th Army, paid tribute to the 4th Marine Brigade. In recognition of their brilliant behavior, he decided that the Belleau Wood would now be referred to as the Wood of the Marine Brigade. Below made the Marines join the Major League. It was their baptismal certificate. The faith of the Marines did not falter in the Wood of Hell. The motto of the United States Marine Corps is famous, famous all over the world, Semper Fidelis. Always remain faithful, always keep one's faith. A sober two-word motto which contains the dual requirement for faithfulness in time and space, at all times and in all places. In Bello, the Marines gained their nickname the Devil Dogs, up to their reputation of being first to fight. In the aftermath of the battle, the cool water of the Devil Dog Fountain had the taste of victory. Today, it had the taste of peace and recognition that must be appreciated. As soldiers, we know that we have to remain sharp. The troubled times we are going through also lead us to remain alert like sentries in the night, ready to open fire. War is back at the border of Europe. Let us remain ready because we are aware neither of the day nor of the time of the ordeal. Should the situation require it tomorrow, we could be inspired by those men who give the full meaning to these two words, Semper Fidelis. I now invite Brigadier General Christian Hubert Freeman, Brigade Commander of the German French Brigade, to present his memorial address. The General de Brigade Christian Hubert Friedel, Brigadier General de la Brigade Franco Allemand, va vous présenter son message de souvenir. Charles, ladies and gentlemen, today we remember the Battle of Belleau Wood, which raged here in the last year of World War I. We remember all those who were killed in action during that war. The fallen soldiers of the Allies, especially those of the US Marine Corps, and the fallen German soldiers. 
As we do this today, we are mindful of the fact that, once again, wars have become a reality in Europe and its surrounding regions. And that war is not just an event that occurred in a distant past, about which we were are told in history books and television documentations. It is now more than a hundred years ago that the Great War came to an end in November 1918, after seeing four years of the bloodiest battles. It was begun in the naive belief that soldiers would be back home after only a few weeks. Yet it developed into an industrialized war that was to cost millions of lives. As we are standing here, surrounded by the graves of the fallen, we are feeling history's gloomy presence. As they did in so many skirmishes and battles at the front lines during World War I, Battle World II saw thousands of courageous soldiers engaging in embittered close combat from 1st to 26th of June 1918. On both sides, beloved fathers, sons and husbands lost their lives on the battlefield, while others returned home wounded and traumatized. More often than not, it was only by pure happenstance that they had survived the barrage of the artillery and the whistling fire delivered by machine guns. It was here that the Marines went through their baptism of fire, fighting within the wooded expanse against battle-hardened German soldiers. Time and again, they would clash in close combat. With rifle and bayonet, the Germans and the Marines struggled for victory in the forest, causing a bloodbath. Having attacked across a stretch of open terrain, the Marines finally succeeded in taking that piece of forest land, with more than thousands of them killed and twice as many wounded. Also, an unaccounted for number of French, British and German soldiers lost their lives or were severely wounded during the heavy fighting. Those courageous men fought and died at Bellowood in the spirit of discipline, comradeship and bravery which are the very soldierly virtues which we continue to uphold even today. When taking their oaths of office, German service members swear to bravely defend the rights and the freedom of the German people. These days, they stand at the ready to bravely defend not only Germany, but also her allies and confederates so that they may live in peace and liberty. Whereas American, British, French and German soldiers were adversaries engaging each other in the battles of World War I and II, nowadays we maintain a closely meshed cooperation. As the commander of the French-German Brigade, I am able to witness that for myself every day. We, the soldiers of the French-German Brigade, are standing shoulder to shoulder during military exercises and operational deployments ready to fight together. We cooperate with American and French forces in Kosovo, Estonia, Lithuania, Romania and elsewhere. It is for this reason that we honor and commemorate together the brave troops of Belo Wood. It is their memory that works as an impetus for us to continually defend and protect together the alliance closed between our nations in the wake of the devastating experience of two world wars. Je vous remercie pour uh, l'invitation de commémorer ensemble ici à Bellewood. Thank you very much for the invitation to commemorate together here in Bellewood. Thank you, General Friedel. Now I welcome General Eric Smith, Commandant of the United States Marine Corps, to present his memorial address. The General Eric Smith, Commandant du Corps de Marines des États-Unis d'Amérique.
va nous présenter son message de souvenir. Good morning, allies, guests, and fellow Marines. It's an honor to be here. And I'm especially honored to stand with my counterparts, Chief of Staff of the French Army, General Pierre Schill, and Commander of the Franco-German Brigade, General Christian Friedel, to commemorate the Battle of Bella Wood, a defining moment in our shared history. Thanks to you and your men and women in uniform for standing with us today. I extend my deepest gratitude to Préfet Campo, Mayor Le Bounier, the police and citizens of Bella Wood, and Mr. Shane Williams, and the great team at the American Battle Monuments Commission. Your commitments keep the legacy of this battle alive. It's difficult to imagine that over a century ago, these quiet woods were the stage of intense and brutal combat. This small, unassuming forest was where valor met ferocity in a clash that would alter the course of the First World War. The American Marines who fought here in 1918 were bolstered by the spirit and strength of their French counterparts. Together they faced a formidable and determined opponent, and many of those Marines were green, fresh to the theater and untested in combat. But they drew inspiration from the tenacity of French soldiers who had been defending their homeland since the war's outbreak. The fierce resolve of the French forces at battles like Verdun and the Marne set a profound example of courage and endurance that the Marines emulated here at Bellow Wood. This battle not only tested the mettle of our forces, but also reaffirmed our deep relationship with France, our oldest diplomatic ally and current NATO partner. It is a partnership founded in our war for independence and reinforced in the trenches and fields of World War I. France's place in our history is unparalleled and the bonds formed in those early days of friendship continue to thrive today. And today, we also stand with our NATO partner, Germany. The transformation from adversaries to one of our closest allies is a testament to the power of reconciliation and mutual respect. The legacy of conflicts like Bella Wood remind us of the tragedies of war, but also highlights the incredible potential for peace and partnership. As we honor the sacrifices made in these woods, we not only remember the fallen, but also celebrate the enduring spirit of alliance that grew from the ashes of this conflict. The lessons of Bella Wood, with its harrowing battles and hard-won camaraderie, resonate deeply as we face the modern geopolitical landscape. These historic woods are not just a memorial to past bravery, but rather a reminder of the importance of our ongoing commitment to each other. They teach us that together, as partners and allies, facing even the most daunting challenges, we can achieve a peace and security that none could achieve alone. Today, the best way to honor the legacy of those who fought here is by continuing to strengthen the bonds between our nations, bonds that build our resiliency in the face of threats to our collective security. Together, we uphold the values of liberty and mutual respect that are as vital today as they were over a century ago. To our partners and allies and fellow Americans here today, I say thank you. We cherish your friendship and honor the legacy of the Marines and soldiers who fought here 106 years ago. Vive la France. God bless America. Semper Fidelis. Thank you, General Smith. Traditionally, teachers at the San Joseph High School in Chapitri ask their students to create a poem on a theme related to World War I. The, th the theme selected for this year was The Courage of a Soldier. And the winner of the contest, Alexiane Clark, will now read her poem in English and in French. Traditionnellement, les enseignants du lycée Chapitri uh, excuse me, Lycée Saint Joseph à Chapitri invite leurs élèves à composer a poem sur un thème lié à la Première Guerre mondiale. Le thème choisi cette année est Le Courage d'un soldat. La gagnante du concours, Alexiane Pratt, va maintenant lire son poem en anglais et en français. The Courage of the Soldiers, in the trenches with St. Paul and True, through the darkest nights and morning's dew. 
Let courage in our hearts replace the fight. For freedom's sake, we pray tonight. To mud and blood we march as one, bound by duty, tears the battle down. To wearing limbs and wearing souls, our spirits by our colors of glows. With every step we honor those who fallen in this deadly prose. They sacrifice our guiding light. In the darkest hour they shine so bright. So we press on with heads held high, for liberty we gladly die. For in our hearts the hope so wins, that peace will be held and head these dreams. Le courage d'un soldat. Dans les tranchées, nous sommes grands et fidèles, à travers les nuits les plus sombres et la rosée du matin. Avec du courage dans le cœur, nous affrontons les combats. Pour l'amour de la liberté, nous braverons la nuit. À travers la boue et le sang, nous marcherons comme un seul homme. Liés par le devoir jusqu'à ce que la bataille soit terminée, à travers des membres fatigués et des âmes fatiguées, le feu de notre esprit y brille pour toujours. À chaque pas, nous honorons ceux dont on met dans cette cause mortelle, leur sacrifice, notre lumière directrice. Dans les heures les plus sombres, ils brillent si fort. Donc nous continuons la tête haute, pour la liberté, nous marcherons volontiers. Car dans nos cœurs, l'espoir brille encore, que la paix régnera et mettra un fin à ses rêves. Thank you very much, and thank you for all the work, I'm sure, of all the other students as well, and the teachers. Thank you. Merci à toutes et tous des étudiants et des enseignants du lycée. Merci. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now proceed with the wreath-laying ceremony. The first wreath will be laid individually, and then wreaths will be laid in groups. Please stand up when your name is called. Mesdames et messieurs, nous allons procéder à la cérémonie de dépôt de gerbe. Le premier gerbe sera déposé individuellement, puis les suivants seront déposés en groupe. Merci de vous lever à l'appel de votre nom. Drapeau, gardez-vous. Détachement, gardez-vous. Regiment, attend. Mr. Thomas Campo, Préfet de l'Inde, au nom de la République Française. Mr. Jocelyn Dessigny, Député de l'Inde. And Mr. Monsieur Antoine Lefebvre, Senator de l'Inde, Premier Caster de Senat, Représentant le Président Gérard Lacher. Président du groupe Amitié France et des États-Unis du Sénat. Et M. Jean-Pierre Verzelen, sénateur de Vennes. Général d'armée Pierre Schill, chef d'état majeur de l'armée de terre française, au nom de l'armée de terre française. General Eric Smith, commandant of the United States Marine Corps, in the name of the United States Marine Corps. Brigadier General Christian Hubert Friedel, commander of the Franco-German Brigade, in the name of the German Army. The final wreath will be laid by the N. Marne American Cemetery Operations Manager, Mr. Christophe Simonet, in the name of the American Battle Monuments Commission. The dernier gerbe sera déposé par Mr. Christophe Simonet, responsable operationnel et technique au Cimetière American N. Marne, au nom de la BMC.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for these beautiful flowers. I would like on behalf of the American Battle Monuments Commission to extend my thanks to all individuals and associations whose wreaths have been prepositioned before the start of the ceremony. Mesdames et Messieurs, merci pour cette magnifique fleur. Je vous souhaite au nom de l'American Battle Monuments Commission d'étendre mes remerciements aux personnes et associations dont les jeux ont été prépositionnés avant le début de la ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the firing of the volleys, the playing of the sonnery of war, each at einen Kameraden and taps. Mesdames et Messieurs, je vous invite to the rest of you for the self d'honneur et pour les trois sonnery of war. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a moment of silence. Mesdames and Messieurs, veuillez vous joindre à moi pour un moment de silence.
Thank you. Merci. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the departure of the troops. Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez vous rester debout pour le départ des troupes. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain in place for the departure of the official party and of the flag bearers. Thank you again for your participation this year at the Memorial Day ceremony. You are all invited to the reception in the village of Bello. Just follow the troops. Mesdames et Messieurs, merci de rester en place pour le départ de la délégation officielle et du porte drapeau. Merci pour votre participation à cette ceremony de Memorial Day. Vous êtes tous conviés à vous. Joint à nous pour une réception dans le village de Belleau pour Fontaine. Merci beaucoup.